All right, this is block three, um, section four, Thomas Jefferson, uh, pragmatist or hypocrite. We've seen um, Thomas Jefferson as the leader of the opposition um, in Washington's term and then in Adams's term uh, as the Democrat-Republican arguing against all these Federalist policies. He argues against the bank. He argues against the tariff. He argues in favor of France against England. Um, he argues for a uh, strict construction and interpretation of the Constitution. Uh, and then the man becomes president of the United States, and some of the more strident Democrat Republicans say, what the heck happened, Tom? You did not follow through on all these things that you said you were going to do. And let's have a look uh, at all the things that Jefferson did that angered his own base of support, that angered his own party, the Democrat Republicans. First of all, he didn't get rid of the bank, that, you know, opposition to the bank was one of the first things that divided um, Jefferson from the Federalists. And when Jefferson became president, uh, the bank stayed um, and operated as it had operated under the Federalist administrations of Washington and Adams. Um, Jefferson kept the tariff uh, to protect American infant industries. He lowered the tariff, but uh, not by that much, and he certainly did not get rid of it. Uh, as many of his supporters expected him to. The pro-France politician, Thomas Jefferson, uh, fought a naval war uh, with France, the quasi-war with France. Um, and the strict constructionist Jefferson, um, who said that the Constitution only, gives, um, only has the power to do those things, which specifically it says that you can do, went and bought Louisiana, uh, doubling the size of the country, uh, even though there was no constitutional provision uh, for the federal government to buy land. So clearly here we have a politician who says a whole bunch of stuff when he is out of power, and then when he comes into power, all of a sudden does not do and does not live up to all the things that he said he would do when he was not in power. And it's real easy to look at someone like Thomas Jefferson in this case and say he's a hypocrite. You know, he, he said all these things in order to gain power, and then once he had power, he didn't care about them, and that was the end of that. But I want to take kind of a, a, a longer look at this. That, and let's take these things in order. The bank and the tariff, although Jefferson liked to rail against them politically, were necessary for the, the security and the prosperity of the United States, that if you got rid, and we're going to see what happens when you get rid of the bank, as Andrew Jackson does in the 1830s. Um, when Jackson destroyed the bank, economic chaos ensued. Um, so Jefferson kept the bank and kept the tariff, kept the bank because the nation's credit was its most important thing, and kept the tariff because even though he didn't like the manufacturers and the commercial type people up north, he did recognize uh, that they were important uh, to the country. Um, his war with France um, kept the United States neutral, uh, or let's put it this way. Jefferson did not side with the French against the British, nor did he side with the British against the French. George, Thomas Jefferson, before he was anything, before he was anything, was an American patriot um, who cared deeply about his country. Um, and he did not want to see the United States become either a pawn for Britain or a pawn for France, even if he kind of cherished a little spot for the French Revolution in you know, his little heart of hearts. Um, he was much more an American patriot to tie America's fortunes and America's future uh, to the French or to the British. So in his view, kind of taking that middle course, even though he ended up fighting against uh, the French, and French sailors killed American sailors, and American sailors killed French sailors, uh, for Jefferson, this was a middle-of-the-road course not to tie the United States uh, to either France or Britain. And the same thing goes for the purchase of Louisiana. Yes, Thomas Jefferson was a strict constructionist. Yes, the Constitution does not allow for the federal government to buy land. And then someone drops Louisiana into Jefferson's lap. You would have to be a fool uh, to turn that down, you know, based on a philosophical argument that you had, you know, about other things when it came down to it. So Jefferson... Um, Louisiana. The best way to think about Thomas Jefferson in this regard was he, the man, was a politician. Um, and as a politician, he was out to do what was best for his country as he saw it. And if that meant, you know, angering his own base who wanted him to get rid of the bank, get rid of the tariff, 
go to war with England, um, that he was willing to do it. That before he was anything, Jefferson was um, an, uh, the president of the United States, an American patriot, um, and he was pragmatic, I think is the best word. He was not idealistic, he was pragmatic. Um, he realized what had to be done to make the United States the most uh, the strongest, most secure, most economically viable country he could find, uh, and he did things in order to achieve that goal. Um, was there still a Federalist opposition in Congress? Yes, there was Federalists in Congress. Was the judiciary still dominated by Federalists? Yes. Uh, so Jefferson's, you know, he did not have complete freedom um, of maneuver. He did not have complete freedom of movement. Uh, but Jefferson did have enough movement that if he wanted to fight these battles, if he wanted to go to war against the bank, if he wanted to go to war uh, to get rid of the tariff, he could have, but he chose not to uh, because he realized that those things were good for the country. Uh, some of the excesses of the Federalists he got rid of. He abolished the Alien and Sedition Acts. He um, got rid of some of the excise taxes that had angered those western Pennsylvania farmers in the Whiskey Rebellion so much. So he was not a Federalist. He was not pursuing Federalist policies. He didn't lower the tariff. Um, but he certainly did not go and run a straight down the line ideological Democrat Republican administration which earned him the ire of many of the people in his own party. But Jefferson was pragmatic. He did what needed to be done uh, to achieve his goals. Uh, and he did them very well. He was, um, in many ways, a successful uh, president of the United States. In many regards, not all, but in many, Thomas Jefferson was a successful uh, American president.